morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Baylor Worldwide Television. We have a very special feature here with a community feature and one that you really need to be listening to. So, I have in the room with me, first of all, Abu Hotep. Good afternoon. And Brother Akim. Brother Akim. Good, great to hear from you both. Um, so, uh, whoever wants to go first to introduce themselves. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for having us. Uh, my name is uh, Brother Rakim, uh, Rakim Yakubu. Uh, I am uh, one of the founders of uh, Black Trade Line and uh, also uh, uh, one of the founders with uh, the I Am Modern African uh, Network Fantastic. as well. Um uh, yeah, based out of, uh, I'm a software engineer by trade, based out of uh, Los Angeles, California, but uh, I'm currently uh, working in the uh, Silicon Valley area in uh, Palo Alto. Fantastic, brother, Rakeem. And your partner? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for having me as well. My name is Anubis Hotep. I'm from Hotep in Meadow. Um, I am actually a marketing consultant by trade, and um, I am also a founder of I Modern African and Black Trade Lines as well. And thank you for having us again. We appreciate you. Okay, thank you so much. I am Modern African. Tell me about it. Who wants to go first? Who wants to tell me about it? Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, the uh, I Modern African Network, or uh, you know, internally we call it the I Am Modern African Project, uh, because uh, we look at it as a project, as a movement. Uh, we look at it as uh, something that would uh, basically uh, change uh, the paradigm uh, out there, or the paradigm out there. Okay. Uh, the I Am Modern African uh, project is is basically uh, it's a digital company or a digital platform or network, uh, a network that focuses on the journey of the African people from the beginning, you know, of uh, way back as far as you could, uh, you know, imagine antiquity all the way to the uh, current uh, state of things today. So uh, the, the uh, platform or the uh, network looks at the whole journey, whether it be uh, in terms of history, in terms of spirituality or commerce. You know, uh, it looks at all the different... Uh, human uh, disciplines or human aspects of human life that have, you know, affected uh, the African people uh, onto this very moment and also uh, seeks, uh, you know, looks for uh, recommendations or, you know, uh, uh, different ways that uh, they could solve some of the uh, problems or, you know, bring solutions to some of the things that are negatively uh, affecting the community and also uh, looks for, uh, again, uh, solutions or, you know, uh, kind of forecasts, you know, uh, the future of the community, looks for things that would help the community in the, uh, in the, the near future. So that, in a nutshell, that is the I Am Modern African uh, project. Well, the I Am Modern African project is definitely sounds like it is needed. Um, what inspired it? Well, what inspired I Am Modern African is, um, you know, you, you could start with, you know, the, the elders, the ancestors, Doc, Dr. John Henry Clark, um, um, Dr. York actually uh, sheds light on things of this nature. Uh, 
Mr. Claude Anderson, um, Bobby Hemet, you know, the, the original people that actually used to teach this situation. Darby actually also um, taught, um, you know, Martin Luther King taught, we, we must separate or not separate, but actually be able to be put in a work environment where we can actually compete successfully. And the reason why we can't compete successfully is every time, uh, you know, when I was trying to start projects and when I was starting to try to build my own business, every time I looked back and realized with my business, I don't have the supplies. I don't have the, 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 the structure needed when it comes to the backing versus everybody else. If you look in India, India's go to India for their backing often, or they take money from here and send it back to India. And that's how they actually build from India and make India stronger to make us like to make the Indians here stronger. You know, Spanish can do the same thing. Europeans could do the same thing. They actually have the, the, the local, uh, uh, advantage as well um but you know when we look at all of these situations we realize and find out hey there's nobody else actually starving here besides us as a black community not every individual not all of us are you know but the the community in whole and in and, and reality, if you have somebody this high and somebody this low, it, it's actually affecting everybody's average. And, you know, that's not good as, you know, at all. Okay. So what we started doing is we started creating tools after tools after tools to help our own successful businesses. And while these businesses were growing and while we're building and learning through these, you know, failures and faults and successes at the same time we realize that everybody else needs these situations and these tools and this help and this opportunity so we decided to actually start it launching you know that help talking to Africans opening the gate opening the door for everybody and and, and basically just providing education for people now there's two actual parts that actually control this and that is the I Modern African Project and the Black Trade Lines Project and then also we actually find a way to turn both of these companies into merger situations in the middle as well so there's two companies providing three totally different types of tools to actually release these mental or you know modern day like Kanye West would say these modern day slave chains you know absolutely that's, that's absolutely what we do so yeah. it, it would seem apparent that there's been many people that have come and have gone that have tried to change the mindsets within the African community for us to be dependent, uh, independent, for us to have our own economic blueprints to, to move forward, to, to grow, to expand, to change the mindset, to, to be empowered, to shake off the mental uh slavery um and 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 the chains but the more we talk about this the more things seem to be happening and how do you how do you feel that you address the root of the problem that is causing us to still be behind all the other nations the indians are doing it the chinese are doing what they're doing the caucasians are doing what they're doing the mexicans are doing what they're doing why do we still struggle and why can't we unite that's 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 pretty pretty simple um brother rocky you want to you want to take that one yeah sure uh, uh when we uh just like uh you know we mentioned the i am modern african uh project uh what we what we have in some of the uh, think tanks is uh, we have uh, research uh, centers or research groups uh, that look at different aspects of our, our community, look at different aspects of, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, what the community has gone through, you know, the struggles, uh, looks at the uh, mental state, just like you mentioned. Uh, looks at uh, the traumas, 
you know, trauma plays a serious role. And also look, look at, you know, the, uh, the global playing field. Uh, what is the playing field like? What is it on the global scale? What is it on the uh, local or state or province? You know, uh, how are we as Africans interacting with other people? You know, is the in- interaction, you know, uh, a level or a sound interaction? You know, is it uh, an interaction where uh, some of the playing fields are equal or not? But uh, what we we look at as a, a problem is not really uh, pointing fingers to our past or who affected us or slavery. Uh, you know, slavery, you know, is, you know, one of the, the major traumas out there. But we're not focusing on the trauma right now. What we're really focusing on is what do we have right now as Africans? So what is in our own possession? We're, we're, not, we're not looking at things that we don't have. We're looking at things that we do have. How can we take advantage and use some of the things that we have. The very first thing that we we identify is one another. We do have one another, and that's that's the reason why uh, we are, you know, trying to aggregate aggregate people uh, together. Uh, the uh, second aspect of things, you know, with the uh, Black Trade Lines, uh, uh, you know, project or platform is we have, you know, we have uh, embarked on uh, technology. There is technology here. We have technology. Technology is available to the world. So this is another thing that we can use to our own advantage in order to fix or, you know, uh, solve some of our problems. So what we ended up doing is adopting technology to help in key areas of our own social consciousness so that we can help one another, you know, build mm-hmm. together. Uh, yeah. So, uh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just agreeing. I was just agreeing. Yeah. So, you know, help one another build together because, uh, you know, just looking back uh, history, you know, there's really no one to do these things for us. Uh, and, you know, we shouldn't be expecting anyone to do these things for us because uh, we have our own culture, we have our own people, we have our own families, we have our own ancestral roots, we have our own resources, whether, you know, uh, we, we're deprived of, uh, you know, uh, finished goods or finished uh, resources or living uh, conditions, you know. Uh, elsewhere in the world, we still got Africa, where it is the uh, mother of all resources. All resources are in Africa. So how right. can we how can we tap into uh, this great resource that we have? You know, not to say that you know there there aren't barriers or there aren't problems. You know, because we have our brothers and sisters on the continent too. You know that are are experiencing, you know, uh, similar and, you know, in, in some, most cases, different uh, problems that we do in, you know, uh, uh, these uh, uh, Western worlds, you know, out there that we happen to find ourselves in. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And also, um my brother Rakim said um, how we actually, you know, we, we have all the resources in Africa. And the thing is, is now that we're digital, like he's saying, we can use the technology now to reach our people there and get things cheaper than China nowadays. Wow. They sell stuff. They have no doubt about it. They have their own farms. They have their own stuff. What they don't have is people paying them a fair wage. So we need to start buying things from them, start capitalizing off of it, building factories bigger out there, investing out there while we're using our money, while we're gathering capital here and getting the resources for cheaper than China 
over here while we're feeding and housing these people. You know, we have to take care of our family. And that's the way, you know, it, it should be done for now. I'm not saying, you know, it can't be all mixed up and all of that. That's, you know, I don't see an issue with that. But for now, I most definitely believe that what needs to happen is we need to be with our people and, and, and learn our stuff because we don't really learn. There's no education right now about what's going on out there and how to win or how to invest successfully in Africa at the moment. And it's basically the gold rush. You know what I mean? It's just not televised. And then that, that's a problem and people don't know that. So when people don't understand that, then, you know, then they understand, then they, then, then, then they start thinking division. You, you asked the question, the, the main question you asked was, do, is it possible or, or why don't they want to unite with us? That's not the issue is they don't know to unite with us. You get me? What we're doing right now is teaching them or, or telling them, hey, we're willing to do business with them. Did you did you know that there's millions of Africans ready to do business with you right now? No, I didn't. But I'm that, going to know issue. but I'm going to know now, right? Right. <laughs> that's the issue. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. feed one, yeah. feed is it is it is it feed one, teach one? Most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, yes, you, sir. You, you, you know, you, you're teaching me now, and by teaching me and teaching us at Bayloric Worldwide Television, you're going to be teaching a lot of people. That's for sure. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, I'm fascinated. Yeah, and... Okay, go ahead. No, I, I just wanted to uh, chip in and. Uh, Talk about globalization. You know, okay. globalization, whether we like it or not, it's here. It's here. So uh, the modern African, so, you know, just like the, the uh, name of the network, uh, the modern African has to uh, embark on a, a, a different way of thinking, a different way of, again, interacting with its own self you know, uh, and also, you know, everyone around the world. Uh, it's not just about, you know, where you are or, you know, you making a difference in your media community. It's all about you making a difference in your global community. And also you making a difference by being that ambassador wherever you are. You know, there are Africans, you know, all over all over the world, you know, and unfortunately, most are experiencing almost the same, you know, hardships. You know, how can we alleviate, you know, some of these uh, burdens? You know, like, for example, uh, if there's an outbreak of uh, disease somewhere in the world or, you know, poverty or whatever it is out there in the world, we are the ones that are supposed to be deploying our own people to go and fix those problems. Not every problem, you know, uh, in the world can be fixed with, with uh, money. You know, money plays a, a huge, you know, factor, you know, moving resources and all that. But sometimes, you know, just knowing that, you know, we all care and knowing uh, that, you know, there's someone on the other end uh, that has, you know, uh, your back or, you know, uh, has your uh, interest in mind alone, you know, takes care of most of the, uh, the situation. Uh, most of the time, you know, even if you can't help monetary, make yourself available physically. Uh, we're working with, you know, uh, our community here in the uh, United States. You know, what we're noticing is we have a lot of Africans here, or African Americans, so to speak. Uh, most of them have never even thought of, uh, you know, uh, at least once in my lifetime, I'm going to go visit the continent and find out, you know, uh, what my ancestors or how my ancestors lived or, you know, uh, where I come from. Instead, uh, most of the time we are relying on, 
you know, either the media or the propaganda that has, you know, the world has now discovered that, you know, it was a propaganda and it was a lie about, you know, the imagery of Africa and what was going on in Africa. You know, we all knew Africa by watching TV. Yes. You know, today with the Internet, we see a different Africa where, you know, what happened? You know, overnight, <laughs> you know, what happened? Yeah. There was yeah. all this Sorry. stuff going on and we didn't, we didn't know. Vice yeah. versa, on their, on their end too. The only uh, image of Af- uh, America or Africans in the Americas or, you know, uh, in other places in the world is, you know, either violence, prosecution, uh, AIDS, sickness, you know, despair, basically. Yes. You know, so what we're trying to do is, you know, to 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 uh, uh, recognize each other and, you know, uh, ease the burden, you know, and heal ourselves. That's all we're trying to do. Okay. I'm going to give you three age groups, okay? I'm going to start with a young, a young boy or young girl, uh, primary, primary school age. How would I am? How would the I am uh, modern African educate that young African boy or girl? Okay. Um, our modern African has developed uh, in, in conjunction with Black Trey Lines. This is yes. that double tool again, right here. Okay. okay. Um, um, the, 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 the school is called the University of Mayotte. We have created a digital online school that will be available for, in 2019 for all children, African children that can't afford to go to school. We provide them free schooling digitally. Um, and also the kids in America and Ireland and everywhere else, we're not just, you know, sucked into Africa because we're scattered everywhere. I'm in California. I was born in California. That's where I was raised. So, you know, what we must do is educate the children in our own private schools. We got to get them out of the places that teach people, that, that teach kids that slavery was for you know, you know, property. We we were property. We weren't actual people. We don't even need to know that right now. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Because then all the other kids are looking at you in this in this region or, or in, in, in this in this in this form. Uh, while you're learning, it's gonna make you uncomfortable. It it automatically trauma. changes you. Yeah, it, it actually brings, brings you it, down. It brings the the trauma back again. Yes, it right. does. I can I can agree with yeah, you right so, there. Because I I, mm. I was I was studying uh, not not too long ago I was studying and I, I cut out because I was in the classroom the only uh, African in the room and everyone else was Caucasian around me and when they start talking about slavery they looked in my direction and this is a history lesson and I'm to make me do media I kept looking in my direction all the time and every session I said and they're all the intelligent people all Caucasian there were no black people that were geniuses. So I asked the question, well, hold, I went to the professor and said, excuse me, so there was no black scholars at this time? Everyone's, it's just Freud? There, there, uh, and, and Piaget? There, there, there's, there's no black scholars? There was no black intelligent people in the world? Yeah. Uh, oh, I, exactly. oh I, I, did, I didn't know of any. Huh? Right. So, uh, you <laughs> Which know, brings I, us to the book of my eye. There you yeah. go. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, that's not their own responsibility. That's our own responsibility. We have to put out our own history. We have to catalog our own uh, documents, you know, our own uh, artifacts. You know, we have to pretty much uh, put our own narrative of who we are. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we don't we don't blame anybody. We don't we don't feel like, you know, because it, it was a war, right? We lost the war, right? We're not supposed to sit here and say now, okay, can you guys hold our records for us and say what we want you to say about us? Because you're always going to feel better about yourself than anybody else is going to feel better about yourself. About a, a, you know, better than a, you know about yourself. So, well, what you have to do is 
do what you need to do, and don't bank people. We don't need to bank. Absolutely. Read you know, take, take the, 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 world, the world's free, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we're free. We are free. Everybody's free. We're allowed to say what we want. We're allowed to do what we want. We truly are. And, and that's really the real case about this. Do they leave Roblox? Only if you can play their games, the leave Roblox, because their game, they made it. Make your own game. Make your own system. That's all we have to do. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah, well, it, it's not a big deal in, in needing to, want, wanting to do it, but it's a big deal in needing to do it. Because it, it should be very simple. You're okay by yourself. You can live by yourself. You don't need any other people but your own people. You need to know where your roots come from because those roots are your great, 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 great grandma. And you want to know about all her kids and her family. You you want to know. It just feels it's, it's a warmer feeling. Everybody, sure. nobody wants to be an orphan. We're kind of almost like semi-orphans in a way, if you think about it. And, you know, knowing who we are and knowing where they were going, our ancestors were going, we would know where, which direction we're headed to. Exactly. Exactly. How can we be moving in this world without even knowing where we're going? Huh. And that is, these are some of the things that are plaguing us. Let, let me, uh, let me. You have, you have a, a, a high failure rate, uh, you know, in the educational system. These new uh, African boys and girls, you know, they are, even though they're brilliant, you know, uh, what they're being taught out there is not what they want to learn, you know, exactly. and, you know, you have most of them not, you know, not interested in anymore because, you know what, uh, the the average five-year-old knows way, way, way more than, you know, what, you know, the curriculum is trying to uh, basically uh, teach them, you know, they, they have their own interests, they build, you know, they're, they're looking at the world, they, they're looking at you know, either in this list or, you know, all the things that are affecting them. And they, they kind of realize, uh, you know, like, I don't fit in here. And that's what we need to create a comfortable place where they can feel as if they, they fit in. Ah, now I'm getting, I'm getting a better picture. So let me throw this out there. I know when I went to school, in in London that I knew more about Queen Victoria and about the Romans and about the Saxons <laughs> than I ever did about Africa and all I knew about Africa back then was Africa had slaves and Ethiopia and poor people and drought and famine that's all I knew until I did my own research and found out about the beautiful kings and queens <laughs> and the culture and you see, now, that's because I went to go and do research, and I had conscious people around me. But if you're not, then, you know, you know more about the Queen and God saved the Queen than you know about your own history, which makes you a lost people. And that's, that's dangerous. Yeah, I think that, yeah, it's very dangerous. And I believe the easiest, fastest way out of those equations right now is to go watch Innovation Africa. I think that's all people have to do at the moment. Go watch Innovation Africa. Innovation Africa. That is that is start help breaking those chains immediately for people. Uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, where, look at what, where can you look, see that? Look at what you know, Africans are doing. Just go on the internet and uh, you know search for Innovate Africa. Innovate uh, Africa. And see what. Yeah, that's what you know, brothers and sisters in Africa, what they are doing. Hmm. Uh, but, you, you know, just like uh, Anubis uh, mentioned, you know, it was an act of war and the the act has not uh, stopped. It's still, you know, in effect. So, uh, you know, your conqueror would not be teaching you uh, anything about yourself because, you know, everything was, you know, planned so that it would be in your conqueror's interest. Your conqueror does not really have your interest in mind. That's the reason why they even went and invaded you. You know, mm -hmm. they were looking for their own interest. 
Okay, uh, roll back 2017. Today, uh, yes, uh, there's the narrative out there that all human beings are free. Okay, so the Conqueror 2 admits that everyone's free. So if everyone's free, then let's go back to, you know, the things that we believe, those virtues that we believe that uh, give us freedom, freedom as our own, as, you know, as what we know of our own kind, and not be apologetic to our own freedom. You are what you are. It doesn't matter, you know. Uh, you know, what you've been taught at the end of the day, when you wake up in the morning, you're looking at yourself and you're wondering, okay, uh, where did I get this dark brown skin from or this brown skin from, or where did I get these uh, maps from? Someone has to tell me about myself and, you know, are you going to go ask somebody else to tell you about yourself or you're going to ask someone that looks closest to you, to what you look like, to tell you about yourself? Maybe they might know, you know, mm. and go back to where, okay, where did this all be begin? And that's, you know, the, uh, the precursor to consciousness. Just you being self-aware. That's, that's consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's being self-aware. And when yeah. you're self-aware, you know, okay, this is me. This is who I am. Okay, what am I doing here? And what do I have to do next? That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And also, then, yeah, I'm so, mm -hmm. Anubis, you can say something. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, um, to add to that, it, it's really simply, you know, it was, it was an act of greed and you're going to keep being greedy. Everybody, you know, it, it wasn't an act of even necessarily race because there's a lot of people that suffer damage from these same situations every day all around the world, you know, and it's important to understand, you know, Nobody could save the world, but there's people that can actually start making divisions to save their, save their own, you know, or do 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 the best they can for themselves at the moment until we're strong enough to do what we can for everybody. I wanted to talk about the 400 years are up. There's a lot of narrative about people talking about it. Like, oh, it's 400 years are up. Or 400 years up. Oh, it's coming. The 400 years are up. What does all this mean? These 400 years. Yeah, um, the uh, the fact of the matter, you know, most people, they look at uh, 400 years of uh, basically the transatlantic, you know, uh, slavery. But uh, when you really look at uh, history or the African history, slavery has started, you know, way, 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 you know, uh, 2000, going back 2000 years, you know, look at uh, Jesus, you know, in his own time, we have a calendar, B.C., before Christ, all that, within, you know, his own period of time, he was under slavery because there was another, you know, uh, group of people Again, uh, ruling. They were not in a position to even uh, do things for themselves because somebody else was ruling them. That was, uh, you know, a form of slavery as well. You know, you you don't have your own economy. Uh, so, you know, when people talk about 400 years, yes, you're just looking at just one... Uh, aspect of, you know, the different uh, uh, events that took place, you know, in this thing called slavery, because, uh, you know, the slaves did not just move only from West Africa to the America. You know, everyone, you know, the Spanish, the 
Portuguese, you know, everyone basically was uh, transporting slaves. There were slaves, you know, uh, Arabs took slaves as well. You know, uh, as a matter of fact, they probably took more slaves than uh, what uh, the, you know, the Americas took. Uh, you know, there were slaves, you know, during uh, going way, way, way back to uh, Massimo's time, you know, all these slaves were all being taken into Europe. You know, the question is, where are they today? You know, these are some of the things that we need to uh, be, again, when, when we are, uh, you know, our scholars need to be trying to figure out, you know, find out, you know, how can we account for ourselves? You know, okay, slavery is over, so what do we do? Let's have a census. Let's find out, okay, how many of us are remaining? You know, we have to account for each and every one of us. Well, what's left? We're creating a census right now. Yeah, that's coming soon. So that that's another big thing. Well, we have a census coming where we need as many people as we can get possibly to just be able to get ready to count a portion of the black people in their area in the beginning, and then from there we'll divide it by the population and start trying to actually pull our own numbers right now. It's very important because I've looked at numbers online, and then I've been to places. I've been everywhere across the United States. I don't you know anywhere I really haven't been. And, you know, Baltimore, Maryland, and the numbers of Maryland, and the numbers in D.C., and the numbers around the areas. Are, I think are a lot different than what it really looks like out there in the streets. I really do. So we need our own census. We really do. Instead of saying, oh, everybody's lying all day. You, you, we could stop with the conspiracy theories. We could stop saying everybody's lying. We could stop all of that. And then we can turn around and do all of the research ourselves and look in our own journals and publish in our own studies. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um. Anubis, I want to ask you a bit about the, was it the Book of Matt? Yes, the Book of Maya. But, but Book of Maya, indeed. Can you uh, talk to me yeah. a bit more about that? Because it was something that we, we did speak about briefly. Awesome. The Book of Maya dot com, Book of Maya dot com, B-O-O-K-O-F-M-A-A-T dot com. Yes. Um, it's actually available for free on Amazon as we speak, guys. Uh, three more days left. It will be, or uh, I don't know. Is this recorded? When is this getting aired? When is this it's going to get out? aired by either tonight or by tomorrow. It will be aired. Okay, so let's just say two days, guys. Two days, the book will be for um, for free uh, or for free online, and you can get it. I just strongly ask you to understand immediately that all of this is ancient culture scripts rewritten. A lot of places we put all the scripts. We we made it ours again. There's nobody else that ha- has actually created from this day a conscious book the way Black like, Trade Lines and I, Modern African, just produced this book wow. through by funding the University of Maya. Okay? So this is the only book that can actually tell you what happened before Christianity. This is it. Or not before Christianity, but before the Bible, should I say. And all the questions you have in the Bible, we strongly recommend you read the book of Maya. We believe those questions will answer the questions for the Bible. If you read the Quran, we believe the book of Maya will answer your questions for the Quran. All the questions that are fuzzy for you, we believe that this goes back a little further. It doesn't conflict with anybody's book. But what it does do is it most definitely highlights and shows a, a further route into everything that you guys study spiritually. The book is called Book of Mayat. You can find it on Amazon.com, B-O-O-K-O-F-M-A-A-T. Please leave a review as soon as you see that it's none of our work. We never once changed a word or added our own opinion. The whole book is from your ancestors, what your ancestors did, how your ancestors thought, what your ancestors need us to be doing right now, pure spirituality. And it was one of the things that I, I, I definitely um, agree with is that um, before Christianity, before uh, Islam, 
a lot of the teachings were taken and stolen from the actual Africans way before Christianity and, and, and uh, uh, Islam came out. So th there were practices that were done by the Africans way, way, way before these religions came because the Africans had their own. Can you um, can you clarify this with me? Yeah, that's most definitely true. The thing is, is that um, the the first spiritual books ever were created uh, were from us. The first spiritual rituals that they've actually found as of today is uh, eighty thousand, ninety thousand years old. Found in the Python Cave in Botswana. This is the same exact ritual that is the crushing of the head of the snake, the crushing of the serpent's head that you find in the wall on the walls of ancient Kim. It's the same. Um, crushing of the serpent's head that you find in the Bible. Um, everybody was always called the Christos, the Christ spirit. Yes. So if you want to really think about it, we've always been Christian. You get me? Yes, absolutely. It's so, the returning of that Christ spirit. So, uh, and it's it's 80,000 years old, guys. 80,000 years old from South Africa. It's not, it's not anywhere near new. You need to deal with the experienced people that actually, you know, they found a, a, a city 150, 200,000 years old in, in, in South Africa. Wow. 200,000 years old, a mega city, bigger than New York. Okay. Yeah. So, and yeah. and uh, uh, another thing is, uh, you know, the concept of God, the concept of resurrection. The concept of, you know, life and death, you know, resurrection and the concept of heaven, you know, all is in this book. Our ancestors are the ones that first brought these concepts to any kind of human thought, Absolutely. you know, and they, they attest that, you know, they were given, given uh, this information by the so-called, you know, uh, uh, ones that came from, again, above. So, uh, again, after the uh, fall of the dynasties in Egypt, you know, uh, you know, that the, uh, after the fall of the dynasties in Egypt, what how did the whole African spirituality, where did it go? <laughs> where did it go? Um, we are confused today thinking Christianity is something that, you know, was brought to Africa when Christianity originated out of Africa. Only that the way it was interpreted and brought back to us is where we should be questioning, you know, and learning, you know, how was it interpreted and brought back to us? Because even the written uh, uh, scriptures that we see, they're only translated in some of these languages. You know, the, uh, the Coptics, they wrote most of the uh, scripts, and some of the scripts in the Bible are ancient scripts, they're African scripts. Exactly. So, so you'll find a lot of things from the Bible. You would, yeah. you would find a lot of things that, you know, you would, you would realize that you are still in the same African mindset. All the way, right. whether you know uh, who were Hebrews, who were right. Hebrews at that time, who right. were they, you know, and who are they today? Exactly, exactly. So you have you have the same spirituality speaking to you in modern terms, but you you just can't recognize it. We are encouraging, you know, uh, we're not saying throw away your religion or anything that you believe in right now, but go back in and look at, you know, uh, what your ancestors, how they were thinking, 
and what they were practicing. What were they practicing? Don't let someone else tell you what was going on. Just go and look at some of these documents yourself. And this will 100% show you and, and change your mind of who you actually are. Are you actually smart? You'll, you'll find this out. You'll find out that, you know, everything that they've had in the modern world we've had. And, you know, it's not a secret. It, 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 you, people just want to go look at it. So we brought it to people. And it's really strange to me that it took us to create this book and put all the scriptures together in one place when nobody else has. And it should have been a pretty easy thing to get done with a lot of money. But I don't know. I don't know why it's not out, but it is now. Book of my eye. Wow. And you said it's only two more days to go before it comes off of Amazon for free. Yes, two days. And it will be off of Amazon. Wow, that's a shame. Well, it will be on Amazon, but it will cost again. Okay. Wow. That that's that's some awesome stuff there, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting getting tucked into it and reading that stuff. Um, but I I, I still want to know a little bit more because um we talked about the book of my act my act I got that right. Yeah yeah my act my yeah. act let me get that pronunciation right it might be the English accent there. Um, <laughs> so let me get it said like an African. Say that again. Say the say pronounce it again for me, please. My act. Ma'at. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Ma'at. 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 Okay. Fantastic. The book of Ma'at. You say it however you feel. <laughs> as <laughs> wanna, long as you pitch it. It's all I want to right. say it right. I want to say it right. They're all right. They're all right. I've been, right. Pro- I've been <laughs> pronouncing everybody else's stuff. Let me my pronounce art. our stuff. Ma'at or Ma'at. It's still. Oh my. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Hey. Good. Um. <laughs> so, I I saw a commercial, um, not too long ago. Um, as, um, yeah, it's black, black. You, the, it's, it's uh, the name of your business again. Not I am. I am modern, African. It's the other one. Black. Black. Black Trade Lines. Black. I want to make sure I say the right thing. I don't want to be promoting somebody else's company. Black Trade Lines, indeed. And I saw a commercial online, and I think it mentioned about thing about uh, millions of Africans that would be that that are there ready to to do business. And um, I saw the commercial. I was very impressed with the commercial. Talk to us a bit more about Black Trade, uh, Black uh, um, your business. Yeah, uh, just like uh, we said, uh, Black Trade Line, it's a digital company. Yes. Uh, you know, it's a digital company that focuses on empowering the African or African American uh, businesses by uh, connecting these businesses with, you know, with their uh, target market. And uh, we've done this by uh, creating uh, a marketplace, uh, basically a marketplace for uh, these uh, businesses to interact with their uh, customer base. That's basically what we, we've done in a nutshell. Okay. But uh, uh, in, in doing this, uh, we, we have also, you know, uh, because of the I Am Modern African uh, project, and uh, other projects that we we work we're working on, uh, commerce is uh, I would say the core the core of you know most of these uh, platforms is because we want to improve the the well being of whether a business an individual or uh, a group you know we want to uh, pretty much empower either the end user by, you know, uh, an individual, a group, or uh, a, a, a business. And uh, we, we use technology, basically. So what we have done is uh, we've used technology to create different tools, you know, tools that, you know, uh, you might find maybe in mainstream, but they have this, you know, uh, re- designed to work for 
as a community. Mm -hmm. They're redesigned to work, you know, these technologies to work. Some of them are brand new technologies. Some of them, you know, are recustomed uh, technologies so that they can work for our people, the way our own businesses are structured, the way our own communication uh, is structured, the way we do things within the community, and also the way we interact with uh, uh, different people around the world or, you know, uh, Africa. So uh, some of the things that we, we have on the network would be uh, things like, uh, you know, there's a directory, a directory of uh, these uh, businesses that people can, you know, looking for certain things, you know, uh, uh, Africans or I would say African-Americans, you know, we, we have our own, uh, you know, products, our own services, things that we, we as a community offer to our, our people and, you know, uh, all other things as well. Uh, you know, we have our own products. We use different products on our hair, on our skin, you know, and, you know, uh, so on and so forth. You know, these are things that you can find on the network and all that. But uh, the focus, again, uh, comes back to the business. How can we develop tools that help these uh, businesses? So uh, we, we came up with uh, a whole range of things, you know. There's social media, you know. How can we help these businesses compete on social media, you know, bring them tools that can help them with uh, social media, uh, give them more time to focus on their business instead of focusing on, you know, marketing and advertising on social media. Uh, there's also uh, things like, uh, you know, uh, telephone systems, you know, any things like uh, business uh, telephone uh, numbers to run their own business. Uh, the mainstream, uh, you know, uh, a business line might cost, you know, $12, to uh, 30, uh, 30 something dollars, you know, we, we make, uh, we subsidize and uh, repackage uh, different uh, technologies. Like for example, you can get a business line for just $2 a month. Wow. Uh, mobile marketing, uh, mobile marketing, uh, coupon marketing, text uh, message uh, marketing, uh, robocalls, you know, telephone uh, calls, IDR systems, you know, so you have your own company directory, things like that we provide to uh, these businesses. We also provide um, each business has a, a media port. And then what, what's included in the media port is, you know, you have the ability to stream live television. Uh, you also have the ability to stream live radio, just like uh, we are on this uh, radio station right now. You have the ability to stream live radio to your audience. Uh, you have the ability to uh, uh, have a conference call. So basically each uh, member has a radio uh, station, has also a conference call to you know, take conference calls, just like any other corporate organization. So those things that are provided or, you know, are you know, usually known in the corporate world, uh, we have taken some of those things, you know, stripped all the, uh, you know, the things that the community does not need and bring some of these uh, technologies to our community at a subsidized uh, rate. There's also the uh, mobile apps. Uh, we have, you know, the uh, Black Trade Circle app. The Black Trade Circle app is out there. It basically has a directory, and it also has, uh, again, uh, these elements of our social consciousness, you know, uh, things like blogs, things like uh, the ability to chat with one another on there. Uh, entertainment, radio, online radio, you know, that 
Two is on there, and so many other things are on there. Uh, so, you know, it's more like a, a whole social uh, network going on there with a business network all combined and made global as well. So you could find people from different parts of the world on there as a community interacting together in order to, again, recycle this wealth and, you know, help one another globally. That's basically, uh, you know, what we're doing. Um, mm. We're doing other things as well. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Uh, Lewis. Yeah, I was just going to add also, um, also on Black Trade Lines, um, we're actually linking through Africa right now for you guys. We're actually finding the best things to do in Africa and everywhere so you can start a business for under $1,500, $2,000, sometimes under $200. Um, we'll be publishing a full manuscript as soon as it's complete. Don't count on a date yet, but we will be letting you guys know what to do and where to do in Africa so everybody can own shares in Africa and actually really be successful in their companies here. Fantastic. What a great overview and just such abundance speaking to you guys. Um, I would call it um, the, 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 the Garden of Manor speaking to both of you. Uh, in such wisdom and such um, the garden of my yacht. Yeah, exactly. All this, all this is, you know, uh, possible because of people. Yes. People, just people, just people volunteering their services. People volunteering, you know, their time, and you know, just believing in what we have going on you know it's just people we have uh how many groups do we have uh mr anubis my god i don't even remember it's it's well over 50 now um i don't have the exact numbers in front of me yeah we we're, we're we below it different cross-functional teams that work on different little projects and all these uh projects you know they all get together in order to Again, you know, uh, put out what you see today. We have, uh, you know, investment projects. We have uh, a bus project. We have a trucking project. We have a, a grocery store project. We have, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, farming project uh, where we, you know, we're creating a food distribution network for our own community. In, in, in case of any uh, natural disaster or any emergency, there is, you know, a food bank for our own people to, you know, uh, again, if, if the government rations run out, you know, we have something to fall back on as well. So these are some of the things that, you know, we're doing. We encourage, you know, all of you out there. Uh, join with us, you know, uh, either I Am Modern African, Black Trade Lines, uh, get together, you know, get with us so that we could, uh, you know, uh, link you up with any of these uh, projects so that you can, you know, uh, contribute, benefit, and also make a difference. We have a lot of tools. Most of these tools are free. Uh, you can use these tools to build your business. And to build, you know, whether you're a consultant or anything out there, you know, you could take advantage of all these tools. These are made for, you know, for us to, uh, again, you know, take advantage of in order to rebuild our own community and heal ourselves. And support radio stations of this nature that allows freedom to flow. Um most definitely, and this, this is what we have to do as a as a people, guys. And um, if you need help, um, you can contact us through the Black Trade Circle app. We have a chat system there where everybody's always speaking. If you need help there, if you need um, guidance, where we're there to help you on imodernafrican.com/chat. So you can either talk to us either way, spiritual side or financial side. If you're looking to make more money, you need to get down to Black Church Circle immediately. Uh, also, uh, you know, you know, I was just talking about, 
you know, the food distribution. You know, we're trying to create a pipeline from the uh, farmer uh, to our dinner table. You know, we have another network called uh, I Am Modern Vegan. Uh, we mm-hmm. encourage, you know, for you brothers and sisters that are out there, uh, you know, that are vegan. I'm one you of know, them. Take, take a look at uh, I Am Modern <laughs> Uh, we have other, you know, projects uh, in place. Again, you know, like uh, there's just just so many things that uh, we're doing. Just yeah, take listen a look. to woke black woman on YouTube. Yeah. Woke black woman, W O K E, black woman. Listen to yeah. woke black woman on YouTube. Uh, we we have different things that we got going on. Just uh, come to our network, and you would be exposed to uh, most of these things. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I've, there's so much stuff I want to get myself involved mm. with and as for Bay Lorit Worldwide Television. And as soon as we get this interview out, we will definitely get it out there as soon as possible and get more brothers and sisters we listening to it. it. Oh, yes. Brothers, thank you so much for your time. Um, once again, can you give me the website of, so how people can contact you first, the website for... I am modern African, please. Dot com. I am M O D E R N African dot com. Okay. I'm modern African. Mm-hmm. And the black trade lines? Uh, www dot black trade lines with an S dot com. And uh, you can also uh, contact us through our. Uh, our number, which is uh, uh, 310-272-5438. Again, the number is one, you know, for international callers. It's 1-310-272-5438. At any time, you could uh, talk to someone. We are 24-7. Uh, just because we also uh, support a global clientele or a global audience. So uh, you can call us at any time, uh, and someone would be always there to uh, assist you. Brothers, thank you so much for being and taking your time to be on Baylor at Worldwide Television. We will get this out as soon as possible and get that message out there. Our brothers and sisters need it. Bless you. We thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much for, um, for the opportunity. Yeah. And uh, we're also on social media as well. Of course. Uh, on social media, you could, uh, again, look look for uh, I Am Modern African on social media. You could also look for Black Trade Lines or Black Trade Circle on uh, social media. Uh, Black Trade Circle is the app. Black Trade Lines is the website. Fabulous, fantastic. Once again, thank you so much for talking to Bay Lorik TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.